let's look at this question four friends a b c d were having a party they initially had certain quantities of six drinks namely gato bacardi atm smirno signature and teachers they were having drinks in rounds in total there were three rounds let's record all the numeric data that has come up so far there were so far we know there are four friends and there are three rounds and there are six drinks okay in each round each of the friends had two pegs of drinks so every round had two pegs so every friend had six pegs therefore a total of 24 pegs were consumed by these four friends okay at least one and at most two pegs of each drink are taken in every round which means every drink will have either three units consumed or at max six units consumed three to six pegs of each drink this information for every drink you will either have three pegs consumed or six pegs consumed or you see minimum three pegs consumed maximum six pegs consumed it could also be four it could also be five okay the quantity of each peg is 25 ml okay one peg is 25 ml also keep that in mind each friend had two different drinks in any single round okay the following cumulative graph shows the initial quantity of each drink at the start of the party where x is the real quantity in ml now the keyword here is this is a cumulative graph so you have to make sure that these values are not bacardi is not 6x and 8pm is not 10x bacardi is 6x but 8pm is 4x only so let's record this data the different drinks that we have are bacardi 8 pm smirnoff signature and then teachers and then gato and the first cumulative graph shows the initial quantity so the initial quantities that we have the initial quantities that I have of all the six drinks are 6, 4, 8, 7, 12 and then finally 10. Okay. And these are in terms of X. Initial quantity of teachers at the start of the party was 300 ml. Teachers initially had 12 X. And 12x is as good as 300 ml or x. So you can come to this conclusion. If 12x is equal to 300, x is equal to 25. If you also remember, each peg was 25. So right now, this data that you have for initial is actually in terms of pegs only. You have 6 pegs of Bacardi, 4 pegs of 8 pm, 8 pegs of Smirnoff, 7 pegs of Signature and so on okay the following cumulative graph again it's a cumulative graph shows the quantity of each drink left after the end of three rounds so okay we also have the final quantity let's record that you have one you have another one you have four you have three you have eight and then you have six and then there is a line at the bottom final quantity of signature at the end of the party was 75 ml okay if the oh sorry final part uh, quantity of signature at the end was 75 ml signature was 3 units if 3 units is equal to 75 ml one, one unit is again equal to was 25 ml or a peg so this data is also actually in pegs only so there were initially six pegs of Bacardi and finally there is one peg. So if I were to record how much was consumed, five pegs were consumed here, three pegs were consumed here, four here, four here, four here and four here. Okay, so the precise consumption for all the individual drinks is also known to us. Now notice this, Bacardi was consumed five units. So the consumption could have been either 2, 2, 1 or 2, 1, 2 or 1, 2, 2. Bacardi get, get, can get consumed in these fashions. 8 p.m. on the other hand 
can only get consumed in the manner one 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 because in every round at least one drink of uh, one peg of each drink is taken now for these the consumption can be one one two or two one one or one two one and this setup that you have for four drinks would be identical for smirnoff signature teachers and ghetto so you will for bacardi the distribution could be 2 to 1 or 2 1 2 or 1 2 2 for 8 pm the distribution has to be 1 1 1 and notice this this is the only case in which i am getting the precise distribution 1 1 1 for all other cases for all other drinks there are potential cases written okay this much we've analyzed let's look at the individual question if a and d had teachers in round two okay so one of these three setups is used for teachers if there were two units consumed in round two so the distribution has to be one two one teachers was consumed in this fashion then what can be the ratio of quantities of teachers in 8 pm if you remember 8 pm is our wonderful thing 8 pm gets only consumed in one 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 fashion consumed in round three so in round three the ratio has to be one is to one therefore this is the answer what is the minimum possible ratio of quantities of signature to 8 pm left at the end of any round okay now signature initially is 7 8 pm initially is 4 and finally signature is 3 and 8 pm is 1 let's write that sig by 8 sig by 8 is 7 by 4 to 3 by 1 if i want the ratio to be minimum possible see if i reduce the numerator and the denominator by the same margin the ratio will increase so for me to get the maximum possible ratio i want the numerator to decrease by a higher amount and the denominator to decrease by a smaller amount signature will get consumed in one of these three fashions the best way to proceed would be 211 so if I reduced it by 2, this would turn to 5. If I reduced it by 1, this would turn to 3. So this has to be the highest ratio. 5 by 3 is as good as 1.66. Therefore, the answer to question 2 has to be A. If after round 2, the ratio of remaining quantities of signature and gate 2 is 1 is to 2, then find the total quantity of signature and gate 2 left after round 2. Okay. Let's see, signature in ghetto left after round 3 is also in the ratio 1 is to 2. If signature in ghetto left after round 3 is in the ratio 1 is to 2 and also left after round 2 is in the ratio 1 is to 2, it would mean they were also consumed in the ratio 1 is to 2 in the third round. Right now, after the third round, there are 9 pegs of it left. But because they are getting consumed in the ratio 1 is to 2 in the final round, in the final round signature there is one peg of signature consumed and there is there are two pegs of gatorade uh, gato consumed so one plus three and two plus six so there are four four units left here and eight units left here or 12 units left 12 units corresponds to 300 ml and therefore the answer to the third question has to be 300 ml which drink has the second highest percentage consumption in total second highest percentage consumption in total so for the first one 5 by 6 it has to be 83.33 for the second one it is 3 by 4 which is 75 the third one it is 50 for the signature it has to be 4 by 7 which is 57 point something something then for teachers it is 4 by 12 which is 33.33 and then for ghetto it is 40 so among these values the second highest value is again this 8 pm and therefore the answer to the fourth question would be a 8 pm this question requires you to simply record the data appropriately initially and once you are done with that everything else falls into place